Hey everybody. Hey, I had this crazy dream last night that uh, I made this video and every single person that went and watched it hit the down like button. And I woke up to that this morning. So you know what? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Every single person watching this video right now, give it a dislike. Every single one of you, even if it's uncomfortable, hit the dislike button. So I think the craziest part about this story is going to be the fact that uh, probably nobody saw it coming. So there's probably one thing that you guys just don't know about Sarah and I. Uh, we had quite a bit of different life before moving to the farm. Um, the first house that we ever bought was super, super tiny. One of the cool perks about that house was that it was right next to a lake and we had access to that lake shore. Uh, for $25 a year, we got uh, about 40 feet of shoreline or so. And uh, we could put our own dock out there. A crazy time back then. Her and I were really into water sports. And Sarah grew up in water sports. So she spent her whole life doing that kind of stuff. Skiing and wakeboarding and tubing and all sorts of fun stuff. So we lived there for a few years before we wanted to have kids. And decided that that house just wasn't going to be big enough. So we sold all that stuff and moved away. And well, eventually ended up here. So kind of had put all that in the past. So how this all came about is kind of interesting. So one thing that you guys probably don't know is that for uh, six years now that we've lived here on a place that we call our farm, um, most of that was my doing. Sarah didn't have really much to do with that. That was more uh, I wanted to do it. And she kind of said, yeah, that sounds like it might be fun and kind of came along. But I know ever since we left the, the lake life, I think she's really missed it. And uh, this summer, I, I kind of thought about it a little bit, and, and an opportunity came up for a pretty good deal on a boat, or at least what I thought was a pretty good deal on a boat. So I kind of talked her into letting me uh, go take a look at it. So we spent a lot of time every single day when I'd get home from work, we'd go out there and, uh, and get on the lake right away and stay out there all the way until dark uh, pretty much every single night of the summer. And then... Um, and then, like I said, when we decided to have kids, we needed a bigger house. So uh, we moved and we sold the boat and really kind of didn't think much of it except for going to the cabin every every year to hang out with Sarah's parents and, uh, you know, being able to do that kind of stuff there. Boy. But we had, uh, we had an old Bayliner Classic that we had put a wakeboard tower on and kind of converted it into uh, into a ski boat of sorts but it it truly wasn't a a ski boat you know and so far this summer this has been pretty fun you know because the kids they really didn't know about this uh life that sarah and i had um you know they think they've seen a few pictures here and there but we haven't talked about it a whole lot and so when the uh the boat thing came up and we went up there to look at it they didn't really understand what we were doing as a matter of fact vanny he asked uh uh, how we were going to get the boat home without destroying it because we'd be dragging it all the way home. I don't think he understood that it came on a trailer. So that was pretty entertaining. But uh, but no, it worked out good. We've spent quite a few days out on the water and uh, they're becoming little daredevils learning all this stuff themselves. Yeah. Um, so I'm super excited for next year. Um, we, uh, we decided to pull the plug on this year because if uh, you've been paying attention as I've been walking around this thing, it... Uh, it's missing some stuff, you know, like seats and well, flooring and carpet and those types of things. So I, I got a lot of work to do, to do. The interiors tore out. I brought that inside the house. I'll uh, start working on the re restoration of that here real soon. Uh, I've been working on the flooring and had a little bit of damage on the floor and uh, get some of that stuff done. So no, I'm super excited for next year. I'm super excited for this winter to be working on this thing. And uh, it's going to be a great little project. And uh, it, it's a really, this thing is going to be a really fun little boat. So the, these, uh, these ski boats back in the 90s, you know, as nice as the wakeboard boats are now, these ski boats back in the 90s were top of the line. Best ski boats probably ever made uh, throughout all the years. So it'll be fun. I'll probably make a few videos here and there with... Uh, with what I'm doing with it, but we'll see how it goes. So, 